You won't see the old Potter Dam very soon. You imagine that this will go up about just over half a metre a day. So you come on Saturday and have a look and you'll think, oh, it looks a bit like a tennis court. You come the following Saturday and it's gone up four metres. And it doesn't take many of those before that wonderful old dam will be gone from sight. We've now been working at this for over a year and a half on the ground uh, and the amazing part of the project is that things that we regard on this stamp site as minor engineering things are huge tasks in themselves. I mean we're standing on top of a, of a diversion pipe encased in concrete. Huge job. Across the other side there is a very important piece of permanent structure and that's the water pipe that will take water out of this dam into up to the water treatment works. Huge job. The intake tower, huge job. Two saddle dams. A batch plant as big as we've seen anywhere around this region for decades and decades and decades. Uh, the preparation and the work, the money spent, is enormous to get to the point now where all things being equal, Come summer, well, it suddenly looks like a dam. It'll be up there. It'll be, uh, it'll be a great time. But uh, get it wrong in the preparation, and you've got big problems. Get it right in the preparation, and we see this is working today remarkably smoothly for very, very early days of uh, full production. That's a great thing, and that's testament to the people's work who've got it ready. risk we've got that we need to manage is we've got a lot of heavy machinery operating within uh, uh, a lot of small uh, teams of people working on the footprint. So in any sort of operation like this we're dealing with uh, multiple tasks being done by sub-teams. Sub so there's a lot of coordination going on. Um, there are safety spotters on the face of the dam, a bit like a traffic control tower, making sure that no one runs into each other. We've got other measures such as exclusion zones and just the whole sequencing of the, uh, the construction process is, uh, is uh, very finely orchestrated to make sure we don't have any incidents on site. And, you know, Canberrans, I think, sort of realise, but maybe don't, that uh, men and women have been working here 24 hours a day in some of the coldest and worst weather, uh, clearing abutments, doing all sorts of jobs, uh, so that we can now sit here and get very, very excited that concrete is being placed on the damn floor.